Hey, I'm Johnny May and welcome to Piano with Johnny. Today I'm going to teach you an original tune that I wrote called Believe, and boy this song is a lot of fun to play. Now in this lesson, I'm going to show you every single note of the arrangement, and we're going to do one hand at a time. So I'm going to show you all the right hand notes, uh, the fingers that I use, and then do the same with the left hand, and then we're going to put the hands together. We're going to go nice and slowly so you, so you can see exactly what I'm doing, and then we're going to get progressively faster until you reach the full tempo. Now in this preview course, I'm going to show you a section of the song, and if you want the full length course, you can find it on my website at pianowithjohnny.com. Let's go ahead and hop in the lesson. All right, guys, so we're going to dive into the first section here of Believe. Now, the way I, I'm going to structure this lesson is I'm going to play each section at tempo, and then I'm going to break down each hand. I'm going to show you what I'm doing in the right hand, then I'm going to show you what I'm doing in the left hand. We're going to go nice and slowly. You can see exactly which fingers I'm using to play, which notes I'm playing, and then we're going to combine them. We're going to take our time. We're going to go nice and slowly. And uh, this is not a terribly hard piece. This is an intermediate level piece, but if you're an advanced beginner, you can definitely nail this or certainly an intermediate advanced player as well. So this song is all about the flow, okay? So I'm going to show you the first section and then break it down for you, okay? So here it is, first section of Believe. All right, so let's look at the right hand. So the right hand is a repeated pattern, okay? Once you learn the first four measures, it just kind of repeats throughout, okay? So here's our pattern. This is the E starting above middle C. That's the red dot here, okay? That's your little uh, landmark here. So starting on the E, so here's our line. That's the first two measures right there, okay? Next two measures are slightly different on the, on the last portion, okay? Check it out. One and two and three and four and one and two and... Now here's where it's different. Three and four and... Make sense? Now that's just going to repeat throughout this section, all right? So work on, you know, getting that at a nice tempo. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Three, and, four, and. All right. So that's going to kind of repeat throughout. The left hand is um, what's going to be different. Now, the end of this section, the, the right hand is slightly different, okay? So we're going to end up repeating this pattern four times. So one, that's once, here's twice. That's twice, here's three. That's, uh, that's third one, and here's the fourth one. And then here it changes to quarter notes at the end. Okay? So at the very end, F sharp E, and those are quarter notes. All right? So this is a big long phrase. You're repeating that same four measure pattern but at the very end it changes, right, kind of hold those. All right, left hand is pretty simple, okay, we're just playing on in between the beats on the E, okay, so left hand we're starting on this E above middle C, and we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay, next measure, we come down to the C sharp, so we got C sharp and E. One and two and three and four and one and two and 
three is the D sharp and E together, three and four and, okay, and then that's going to repeat again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down to C sharp, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay, so that's the same. Now, the next uh, eight measures are going to be slightly different. We're going to add a little to it now. So now we got a nice thick texture. E, B, E, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that top E is the same rhythmically. Now we jump down to this new chord here, C sharp minor. Okay, see that? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You see that? You got a new chord here, and then you come up to your E, all right? Next measure, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, back down to your C sharp minor, one and two and three and four and one and two and B, there's your B chord like we played earlier, three and four, you see that? Three and four. Okay, let's put the hands together. Here we go, nice and slowly, okay? Starting position, I like the two on the top, E on the bottom with the thumb, here it is. One, two, Now here's where we come down to the octaves in the left hand. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and down to C sharp. One and two and four and two and three and four and. You see that? Three and four and. Keep going. One. See that at the end there, that phrase? We'll do that last phrase again, the last two measures. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. You see that? Three and four and. And that's how we end that phrase. Hey, great job in this lesson. It was a lot of fun teaching you how to play this section of Believe. Uh, if you want the full-length course, you can find it on my website at pianowithjohnny.com, as well as lots and lots of other piano instructional videos and my arrangements. It was a lot of fun, and until I see you next time, take care.